What is meant by emotional mastery? Does that mean we go on Amazon.com and order a little Star Trek pointy Vulcan ears and run around trying to be Mr. Spock, pretending we have no emotions whatsoever? Oh, please don't. That is not emotional mastery. Emotional mastery is, number one, being aware of our emotions, not in an analytical way, but in a, in a passive way, to be vulnerably aware of what we are experiencing physically and emotionally in any given moment, but not to be carried away by those sensations or those emotions, to be aware of them, yet able to acquiesce and flow. Imagine when we were children at the seashore or the lakeshore, and we played in the sand, and we would hold up the sand in our hands, and invariably it would, it would fall between our fingers, because as children we were really not, we aren't renowned for great coordination. And likewise, to be able to be aware of our emotions and yet let the emotions fall through our fingers, through mastery of the simple yoga of awareness and acquiescence, marrying those techniques upon our spontaneous and uncontrived breathing, doing this, especially while also or in conjunction with a daily study of the Tao Te Ching, can go a very long way to making us the contemporary contemplative version of the unsinkable Molly Brown, who was not able to prevent tragedy or able to prevent emotion, who was able to weather them without being, without being defined by rage or terror or despair, being able to notice what's going on, but not be controlled by what's going on. When was the last time you really wish you had emotional mastery, but didn't? Tell me about it in the comment area below. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, and this is the Buddha Joy Meditation School.